guys, it's Taylor, and I'm sorry if I look ridiculously tired, but I woke up this morning realizing that I didn't film my video yesterday, and I needed to make my video, so I look so tired. I literally just woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning, um, I have bags under my eyes. This is what it's like being a mom. So this week's theme is to show off five things that are important to you and why they're important to you, um... I couldn't find five things, but I did find three things that are pretty important to me. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is this skull. I think these are going to look stupid, but I promise they're not. Okay, so I got, I have this skull, and um, this skull resembles my love for travel. I bought this skull when I went to Mexico, which is the first time I've ever been out of the country. He is having a fun time back there. And I have always, always, always said I'm going to travel, travel, travel. I want to go everywhere. I want to see everything. I don't want to live on this planet and not know what it looks like. And I still want to. Like, it's such a passion for me to want to go and explore. You say, hi, mama. <laughs> Okay, my second is a toothbrush. <laughs> These are so embarrassing. My second is a toothbrush. Um, the reason for the toothbrush is because I have a gap. And a gap has been a part of my life, my entire life. I have always had one. I had one at his age. I've always had one. My parents couldn't afford braces. I never got braces. Um, I wish I did. But... <laughs> I have learned to love it. I have learned that it's part of me and that without this, I wouldn't look like Taylor. And at least I don't, you know, it's like, it's not like I have a second nose growing out of my face. It's just a gap in between my two front teeth and it's me. It makes me me. So the third thing that I have that is important to me um, and represents me is this. So this is probably confusing. Um, it's a baby um, blood pressure monitor and like heartbeat monitor. Um, this represents the seven days that my son spent in the intensive care unit in the hospital after I had him. Those were the scariest seven days of my life. Um, he came out, some rumors were that he had a seizure, we don't know, um, anyways, he wasn't doing very good, he had to stay in the intensive care unit for seven days, and then we finally got to take him home. It's scary when something so small and something so innocent comes from you after growing it for nine months, and it has to go straight into somebody else's arms, and straight to have somebody else take care of him. And he, I'm not going to get emotional, but this little boy is my entire world. He is everything to me. And that's why that represents me as well. It's because I would not be me without him. I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video this week. And I will see you next week. Make sure to watch everybody else's videos. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye!